I came to Austin in 1957, uh, we had approximately 18,000, more or less, Mexican Americans. And when I got to the university, one of the things my, that my white friends told me, don't go to East Austin, they kill people there. It was a small community, and uh, the Hispanics were in East Austin, the African Americans were in the northern part of East Austin, and there was no crossing over I-35. The Gentlemen's Agreement was put in, put in place in 1971 and it was to increase the council size from five to seven and to have one seat for African Americans, place six, and one seat for Hispanics, place five. There were some people that resented it. You know, we were restricted to that one seat. I felt that, well, that's the way it is. I'm not gonna fight the system, you know. So I'm gonna run in that seat. And I won. And, you know, in the first stages, it was difficult because people were wondering what it was that you wanted. You know, they were trying to block me from doing certain things. But by the same token, it's a challenge because you are given an opportunity to do something that has not been done before. Yo soy Susana Almanza, estoy corriendo para el Concilio de la Ciudad y estoy dando información de mi, candid mi candidacía y lo que estoy luchando por viviendas económicas. I would never have been able to run for city council under the large system. Un salario digno de 15 dólares ahora. It was very difficult because we were also told if you wanted to run for city council at large, not only did you have to have a lot of money, but the people in West Austin also had to approve you. They were the decision makers as to who the Mexican American representative and who the African American representative would be for East Austin. And so now 10-1 people living in the specific districts will now have the right to decide who their representative would be. And that's a tremendous democratic right that people will have now. Get your, your name and stuff so that we can... Mary Maldonado. Okay, great Mary. And is it all right if we put up our, one of our signs here? In the the person on city council should know what the issues are in that community and be able to move those issues forward and to work with other communities, of course citywide, but also focusing on you know, the communities that have been forgotten for a very long time. We're in District 4 right here. This area right here has never had a council member. The 10-1 system will give us an opportunity to really put diversity to work in a manner in which it brings all the benefits that diversity can bring to the community. Winston Churchill said, democracy is the worst system of government in the world save and except for all the other ones. I mean, there's no perfect political system, but 10-1 is better.